Good evening. Welcome to Grandma's Attic Music Review. I'm so happy to be with you tonight. I um, often I oftentimes um, have to look around and look around and look around for fresh talent. And um, tonight's tonight's duo, I haven't had to look around. They're right here from the same neighborhood that I live in. They are part of this community in a really big way. They're active and out there and do wonderful things for our community. But I've been trying to get them on my show for five years. Let's just put it out there. It's been a long time coming, this show tonight. I've wanted them here. They're both very talented. They're involved with a bunch of different musical um, activities, shall we say. And we'll talk about that in the interview. But right now, I really would love for you to welcome into your home, into your bedroom, into your living room, wherever you're watching from. Please help me welcome Dan and Liz. Carter family number. This is a uh, Liz Larson number. This is an original. Didn't know my rejection of you 
on repeat. That was his favorite song in Rome. Oh, Rome. I've been searching for you in a wave of mistakes and bad moves. And I hope you understand anything, I mean anything at all. Cause I just secretly climb up and down New York stairway in the night. And you'd make it with me while breaking the girl was playing on repeat. That was his favorite song. Nice. You want to say anything about this next song? Um, yeah, sure. It's called Spain. Um, it's about growing up, and it's uh, it's one of our the first pieces that we kind of really composed in a, with fiddle and in sort of a non traditional way. So it's pretty cool. I think. Let's go. This is about the time I went to Spain You know that in the plane there didn't rain But how could I get there? I couldn't get there with one engine So we'll just stay in New York instead When I finally got there, I slept on my elbow. Fifteen and drunk at Picasso's
one's called Orange and Blue. It was originally on a funny little tape that I recorded uh, that when I was 20 or something. <laughs> Eventually made it onto uh, into bands, and then Dan and I are the ones who seem to play it the most. And here it is now, right? <laughs> just about colors and stuff. Switched them already? No, you never switched them. Should we switch them or not? What are we playing then? Tell me which you mean. Then, what's next? Hi. <laughs> what's next? <coughs> I don't know. Does it matter? Uh, I guess we'll do. We switched them for a reason. Yeah, maybe let's do six. Okay. Six let's and then six. five. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Oh 
one uh i had a roommate with a wonder woman um tv the old wonder woman tv series on dvd and we got to watching it a bunch one day so that's what that song is about <laughs> <laughs> binge watching dvds old school country snow where are we at just tell me um five i need you to tell me okay yeah. I need you to tell me. Okay. This is a dramatic, n kind of a new tune of Danny's. He hasn't really premiered it out in the world. I would say it's very serious. It's We're premiering very, it here. Very on serious. Grandma's it's about attic. love. And TV it's about um, drama, the drama of love. <laughs> it's very dramatic. Okay. <laughs> First line. When, oh. Is it on another page? Yeah. That's the intro. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll just look at it. I didn't know it was a page turner. <laughs> no, it isn't, but. Where does it go? Okay, yeah, is okay. It? Yeah, turn it. I don't need the lyrics, I okay. just need to know what the first. Thank you guys for your patience. First word is. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I don't remember the song. Turn, turn it back again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, turn it back. I can get this. I didn't. It's a long song. I long to feel the summer breeze And feel the warm sunlight When shadows play upon your face and Thursday was our night How does it feel to grab a meal Alone at Applebee's Where does love go when it grows cold Asked Mark and Susan The fire on the windy hill It looks so warm and bright The flame of love, the flame of war It burns with the same light They came to dinner just last week And brought a casserole What? of our plans and holding hands as Mark and Susan You are so sweet your pretty eyes they shine like ruby wine The way your hair flows down your back The way you dress so fine Friday night was such a blast We danced till half past ten For 
rich or poor forevermore as Mark and Susan The snow feels cold upon my face I don't want to be alone These memories, they can't be erased I feel it in my bones I can still taste our afternoon I haven't brushed my teeth In another year, will you be here as Mark and Susan? Mark and Susan. That's pretty good. We made it's it through. It's worth it. Probably have time for a tune or two more, right? Where are we at? Seven. Okay, good. Oh, great. Well, it's the winter season. It's, um, <laughs> it's only about 69 degrees out today, I think, too. It's really nice <laughs> out. But this song is kind of about global warming a little bit. Um, our songs do sometimes get a little sarcastic. And political, too, apparently. Uh, political, I guess, because that's political. And, um, and yeah, this one's called Country Snowman. It's kind of a Christmas tune. Got a few, we have a few holiday zingers in our set. <laughs> if we get to them and all that. Okay. <laughs> On the family internet. I saw a picture of a snowman It was painted just like Santa With an angel on its arm And its head hanging down An American flag Was all he could hold But he looked so darn sad And I said, hey! <clears throat> Country snowman, it's that time of the year. Time for country down home cooking barbecue Christmas. Well, I'm not sure of Santa, and I'm not sure of anything. I'll be waiting on the back deck of my old family's yard and i wonder why it hasn't rained for like three weeks and counting but the sleighs they'll still land by a helicopter so i said hey, hey country, country snowman, snowman it's that time of the year Time for country down home cooking barbecue Christmas. Time for country down home cooking barbecue Christmas. Um, do you want another seasonal tune next year? All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, well. What else over there? Oh, yeah. Should I get this? I can, I can get it. You got it. I got it. Okay. Comfortable positioning. See how that goes. Oh, this will be nice and loud. This fiddle might be really loud. You ready? Yeah. All right. Oh, 
rustling among the leaves so green. Here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. Love and joy we come to you and to you your wassail too. And God send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. But we are neighbors' children whom you have seen before. Love and joy come to you, and to you your wassail too. And God send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. God was the mistress too, and all the little children around your table go. Love and joy come to you, and to you your wassail too. And God send you a happy new year, and God send you a happy new year. And good mistress who are sitting by the fire Pray think of us poor children A wandering in the mud Love and joy come to you And to you your wassail too And God send you a happy new year And God send you a happy new year You guys want to come and talk? Yeah, it's let's a good do it. time. So while they're getting over here, let me um, just tell you that coming up, starting next weekend, is the hygienic Salon de Independence, and it is um, starts on Friday night, January twenty fourth, with the Hoot Nanny. And uh, if you want to put a piece of art in, you should bring it Saturday morning, starting at eight o'clock, and. Our intake goes from 8 o'clock in the morning till 6 at night. But if you bring your art at 6 at night, be lucky to get a place to put it on the wall. It, it, just just saying. There's all kinds of things going on um, right straight through till uh, February 7th, I think. I don't have it here in front of me. But the screening room is Friday night the 24th, as well as the Hoot Nanny, the Hygienic Grand, large format art show is going to be at 38 Green Street. Um, the show itself will be all over the city. The business of art is um, going on during that time. So check it out. Go to hygienic.org to get all the details. But if you want a piece of art in that show, I'm telling you right now, you need to get down to the Hygienic Saturday morning, not this Saturday, but Saturday of next, and um, get your art hung as early in the morning as you can possibly get out and get it hung because it fills up fast. A lot of people get their art in this show. It's no judge, no jury, no censorship. You can do whatever you want for this art show as long as it's art. And what is an art today? So let me talk <laughs> to these guys. Hi. Hi. I'm so happy to have you here. Good to Thank be here. You. It's been a long time coming. So you guys are so active with so many different things. So I want to get all of it in. Um, when I first when I first met you, Liz, you were in a band called the Liz Larsons. That's true. Now, um, what's going on with the Liz Larsons these days? Um, it, you know, it's we can segue to that other project we had. Anyway, the Liz Larsons hasn't played together for 
a long time, um, but I've actually been playing with some of the old members of the band uh -huh. in that um, in that project, the Purple Mountains project that okay. I was telling you about, and um, that's been really nice. Um, but I think when did we? When was our last show? Do you know? Maybe like six, seven, eight. Like you and I? No, uh, the Liz Larsons. Oh, the Liz Larsons. And yeah. th so they were a band we had. I don't know. I feel like. We were going for like at least five or six years. And yeah, you guys were going strong for a while. Yeah. You put out some good music. It was fun. It was it was a lot of fun to listen to. Yeah. And I met you playing in a band called the Can Kickers. Mm -hmm. tell, us, tell us a little bit about this band. Um, it's a old time uh, rock and roll band. I don't know what you call it. Appalachian. Appalachian punk rock is what I call it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's That's kinda, a good way to describe kinda it. Kind of punky, mm -hmm. punky Appalachian mm -hmm. hoedown music. It's awesome. Dance it's, music, it's I guess. It's absolutely dance music. Fiddle, banjo, drums. And that, that's that's kind of the idea. And a really have fast fun, pace. Dance. Yep. A fast, really yeah, fast, yeah, a really tends fast to be pace. Fast. Yeah, it mm. does. It does. <laughs> what are they doing right now? Um, we're we all have not all of us, but <laughs> some of us have kids, jobs, um, these things in our lives. But you just played so this we, past we pl summer, though. Did yeah, we'll play uh, one or two times a year. Something That's like wonderful, that. though. Yeah, we still mm -hmm. have fun doing it, so we keep doing it. That's absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Now, there, there's some other bands that you guys have been involved in. I, I think of the Brazen Hussies. Yeah, mm -hmm. Brazen Hussie is a band that I was in, that I'm still sort of in, but like we don't play as much anymore, but we had a, a pretty interesting and very successful reunion last year in February. I, yeah, you did. It was yeah, really, really fun to pick up, pick those songs back up and play with my friends again. And then there's you two, and mm -hmm. you guys play together. The last time that I saw you play together was at the, um, was it Pass it, it was Pass it, was the Guitar? It, was it Pass the Guitar? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That, that Hugh Birds all puts together. Um, what does one have to do to get Dan and Liz to come out and play for us? Um, you can... Pretty much just ask. And if we, <laughs> if we only have to play one or two songs, there's a good chance we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't, and we, you know, we don't have a meeting or... Or it's a child's, child care issue yeah, or yeah. whatever. I mean, it's right. fine. But do you provide child care even and better. pizza, <laughs> gluten-free? <laughs> we'll probably, we'll probably, oh, no, no, uh, the we'll rider. Then he's getting into the rider, but that's not, we're not Oh, really it has to be gluten-free. <laughs> well, I'm no, carb-free, so own. I got this. Pizza. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> gluten-free, <laughs> gluten-free cauliflower pizza. Sure. Is, oh, yeah. is to right. die for. It's, it's just good. absolutely to die for. Mm -hmm. um, so we can do that. Well, now, you're involved in a bunch of other things. You do some things at Fiddleheads. Fiddleheads mm -hmm. is our local... For those of you that don't know, Fiddleheads is our local co-op, and it sits right there on the corner, and it, it has everything that you could possibly imagine as far as organic and good for you. So check out the Fiddleheads, okay? Tell us some of the things that you do there, well, because you're you're involved in some really great great um, what's what's the word organic type things. Sure, sure. Um, I'm like an educational coordinator there, and I do that as a contractor. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I used to work there as, as a cashier and in the wellness section. I've just been really passionate about that place. I feel like it does a lot for, you know, the neighborhood, for it the does. town, um, and for the community employment, and just the local economy and stuff. Um, and I, so I'm not technically employed there, um, but I do work there quite right. a bit. And Daniel here. Yeah, it, yeah so the co-op <laughs> is owned by our customers. Right. And they elect a board of directors, and I'm an o a owner customer who's on the board of directors. That's a wonderful thing president. though, right? And yeah, he's a yeah, very busy great. board president volunteer um, to doing what he can to shore up how the store could possibly, you know, keep it all together and, you know, keep and the it flow. And it does a good job. It does a good job. Um, are you also working at the winery? Mm-hmm, yeah, Jonathan Edwards Winery. Yeah? Yeah. Are they still doing music out at the, uh, out at the winery? In yeah, the they summertime? Do, they do. They don't, they don't all, they, you know, it varies year to year who, what acts they have and stuff, but they right, always have course. music in the summer. And mm -hmm. the, That's nice. Festivals. Do you help coordinate that, being that you know the music scene so well? No, no, I try to stay out of that as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand that. Now, now, Dan, are you also a local DJ? Do you still do any mm -hmm. of that? 
Um, yeah, I, I had a radio show at WCNI for a long time. 90.9 FM on That's your right. radio dial or iHeartRadio.com. That's right. <laughs> um, and basically when we had our second child, yep. Bronwyn, who's now three, I, kind of, I phased that out for a while. Yep. And I'd, I'd like to jump back into it at some point when When you phase something, phase something else right, out yeah. and then mm -hmm. do that. <laughs> so you guys are really busy and what 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 it sounds like to me and what's important is that you're busy in this community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it about New London that makes you want to be so involved with this community or would you be involved no matter where you lived in the community? It's, it's a small scale and and it's the um it's the warmth. Um we have a lot of immigrants. We have a very diverse culture. We have like, you know, things to do. We have Fresh New London, uh, which I'm also I'm also involved with uh, okay. on the board of Fresh New London, and supporting. The Tell us a little bit about Fresh New London. We we made some money for them mm -hmm. as Friday Night Folk a few years oh, ago. Thank you. Yeah, thank that you. was great. Um, well, Fresh New London does a lot of things, um, but right now we've I, we've been working with um, well, our main the core of our work is is youth education and empowerment. Um, through food justice and growing food um, at our site uh, out near the Martin Center. If you've seen it at yep. Williams and Mercer, that's our urban farm. But we also have um, gardens that we've started all around the town. Um, and there are snack beds throughout the city. And we've been working to coordinate um, a five-year urban agriculture plan. What is a snack bed? Oh, a snack bed is, uh, you know, garden beds that are raised um, with types of food growing in them that would that would be easy to pick and eat and for a lot of people that can include you know a bundle of kale some snap peas um, a couple tomatoes to munch on on the way home and some peppers to saute with your the greens you just picked like so and I and we've definitely um, seen a lot of people utilizing these beds and we'd like to see them grow and continue that's wonderful so I didn't know contact anything fresh about New London that. if you want to host um, one is, of these beds in your front yard it's, is there it's a, a possibility. website or uh, where can we find fresh New London fresh New London dot org fresh New London dot org you guys if you want to know more about that because it's a Better wonderful be. organization that's doing really good things for our community mm -hmm. check them out this this community does do um, a lot, and we we all seem to be up in each other's business. Um, if you could choose one organization in this town that seems to kind of pull it all together, which organization do you think that would be? Mm. Pull it all together. Yeah. What organization seems to be the most active in getting things going and getting things done that you guys know about and that you're involved with? I mean, Fresh does an awful lot, I would say. Yeah. But um, I'll put a vote in for Hygienic because, I mean, they've yeah. done also, I mean, done a lot for me personally and I think have done a lot in the community to inspire. I agree with you. And I for a long time, too. Yeah. Yeah. Really consistent. For a very long time. This is their 41st show this year mm -hmm. as far as... Um, the hygienic art show mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and back back in the day when it was the first hygienic art show I was there and uh, it was only in the hygienic restaurant mm -hmm. which was pretty disgusting I just have to tell you mm -hmm. it was so disgusting that there was a picture on the back page of High Times magazine of their um, their um, vent yeah. And it had so much grease on it that it got on the picture. It got its picture on High Times magazine as being the hygienic with this big gross. Uh -huh. Right. I always wondered about that name. Like, how could it even be? Like, even it after was, it was cleaned up, you still right, wondered. Right, right, right. It was bad. They but they that? do do wonderful things. And um, they have, like, like I said, the art show comes up this coming weekend. And uh, it's not to be missed. It, and it, it brings all different kinds of art together. There's the, um, the um, live model paint. Paint uh, right on the model. Right, paint, li paint live on a, on a live person. <laughs> and it's done in front of a live audience. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And um, the Hoot Nanny is Friday night. And the, um, what do they call it when all the bands play together? Because I know you guys have been to the that scramble too. scramble up thing? Oh, no. Or the just the big night. The the, the, 
Uh, rock, rock and roll fix. review. Rock, rock and roll. Uh, the rock, rock, house. Rock, rock house. Rock, rock house. Rock house. Rock house. Rock house. Rock house. Rock and house. Uh, something like that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so there's, there's so poetry much poetry, and there's isn't there a big poetry night? Film, there is. Yeah. There is a, a night, night of poetry, and there is a night of short films, and mm. all these different things that it it is so inclusive with every different kind of the arts. Let's let's go back to talking about you guys now. Which one of you is the primary songwriter in the house? I would say Liz. <laughs> I write songs, but she's a songwriter. You know, you know what You're I mean. You're a songwriter. Yeah. How long have you been writing your own music, Liz? Mm, since my late teens. Really? Like seventeen. What mm. made you feel like you needed to write music? <sighs> Loneliness and isolation in some cases. I was into running and hiding with my guitar and just being lonely, but in just really savoring that. I think I, it was precious. To, that's where I got started, this little nugget of just, this is me, this is my, me, myself. And um, I was just, I was real inspired by, by other people who could really do it. And I was who just some super of impressed. Inspirations? My friend Matthew Potter was always a beautiful songwriter and a really hard rocker. Yep, um, he still is. And he still is. He is. He always was and always will be. Um, uh, you know, that I, I'd say he was He was a real, he was a big one. And then, you know, I mean, just the music I was listening to. And what were you listening to at that time in your life? Uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of pavement, um, some Mary Lou Lord, um, Bob Dylan. Uh, I didn't quite expect that. <laughs> I didn't quite expect Bob Dylan out of you. Really? I really didn't. Really? Yeah. I, I kind of, I kind of took I you for more him. a little bit of the punky type stuff mm -hmm. that was she'll, going on. Well, she'll, she'll, you know who my favorite? You. My yeah. favorite Kim. My favorite. Sorry, my favorite songwriter actually and performer in the world is Kim Deal. Okay. Of the Breeders. Yeah, of the yeah. The Pixies of the Breeders. Um, she's actually like I, as I got through my. Years, I realized uh, almost everything I wrote was sort of based on one of her songs or licks or, right, you know, she's just right? super inspiring. And what inspires right. you today? You guys have two beautiful children. Are any of your songs about your children? They don't let us write songs. Yeah, about, <laughs> about they keep them or anything those else. two keep you Our, busy, don't <laughs> they? Yeah, the ones that we that we perform out, I guess not, but um. I did start working on some sort of ditty about Joanna um, that I have to, I have to sort of recall it, but it was sort of, it's some song about her being, you know, mad at, you're, it was basically Joanna, 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 Wren, you're pissed at me, you're pissed at me, you're pissed at me again, is basically was the lick. <laughs> and if you know my daughter, you'd understand all that. Does she have she's, a little temper? She's fiery. Yeah. She's fiery. She's I don't know where she gets it from. <laughs> <laughs> I I got nothing to say. I don't know where she gets I, it from. I got nothing to say. <laughs> do you find that your music, um, I'm sure that you play music in your home. Do your kids um, want to be involved in that? Do, are your kids musical? They are. They are. They do want to be involved in it. Jo Joanna has always gravitated towards the drums. I think. <laughs> and, and Bronwyn is fascinated by the string instruments you know mm -hmm. well that's cool not to pigeonhole them at a young age they'll probably play everything but and joanna loves to sing she mm -hmm. has belted it out in front of larger audiences in front of our ch in front of the uh, of all souls she sang right. some solos in front of all souls like she's pretty if when she gets a chance and when she gets to practice a little bit that's enough for her to, to be confident enough to do it that's wonderful especially if she has daddy with her or whatever and bronwyn i she's the kind who likes to like she go likes to go off and play by herself she was playing the uh, ukulele strumming it the different notes and was singing a little song and was going over it and i knew I couldn't record her. I, I could not sneak anywhere close enough to her. She would, she'd be like, stop, go away. Right? And she wouldn't let me like, but I've tried to film her and I have filmed her doing some stuff like that. But I actually, she was doing it independently, tr like writing a song. That's and, and wonderful. singing to herself. She's now, three and a half. Ha I was just going to say, she's in the three area somewhere. Yeah. Three and a half years old and writing her own music. Mm -hmm. That's a gift. That's a gift. You should She's into it. certainly, certainly encourage that gift. And Joanna was mad at us because she couldn't 
be on TV today playing music. Oh, she could have yeah. come. Oh, yeah. She I would have. school, though. And, yeah, you know. she wants perfect attendance, too. You can't have both. <laughs> right, you can't have both. And you tell her when she's ready, she can come and do Grandma's Attic. Okay. You will. But absolutely, yeah. absolutely. She ha Tell her she has to have 35 minutes worth of music, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty strict about that. I'm pretty strict. You tell her I'm a mean old grandma and I have rules. Okay. And then she can come on my show when she when yeah. she can fill the rules. Yep. yep. And she can get past all that. She will come. She will. She, she she's a spunky. She's yeah. a spunky little girl, and that's wonderful. Where do you want to see Dan and Liz go with your music? Hmm. I think I I like how we just go along. As we do, we do our own <laughs> side projects mm -hmm. and that, and we always have that to come back to. Maybe we'll do another kind of project someday. That's yeah. Like what kind of project do you think you might do? Well, in the past, we've really electrified it. Like we started out electric guitar and drums. Mm -hmm. That was how we started this. Did music, know. do you think that music brought you two together? Yes, it absolutely did. Tell us that love story. Real quick? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not real quick. I mean, well, it, I, I as, think, as, I as think quick as you sure. want. Um, yeah, I don't know how much time we have. Danny was on tour and was getting in, would try to get in touch with me about booking shows uh, for bands that he knew that were on tour, that were coming through town. So I would get, like, messages from him on my answering machine. Um, and this and Because I knew sh she played in bands and to play with other bands. And I knew there was something special in his voice. You know, and then like he he would show up at work, you know. And, at and work? You showed I don't know. You showed up at work. You made a flyer. I had already made a flyer for the show. I'm like, look at my flyer, and he's like, look at oh, we both made the same flyer for the show. And then like one time before we were, it, he, we were booking shows together. He booked a show with yeah. me, and he's like, well, you have to come over and make Valentines with me, me, to because these I want to make. Uh, flyers that are shaped like Valentines. <laughs> that sounded like it was a scam. He, he, just to he get was to dating, spend time we were, with her. We were each dating other people. It wasn't, you know, I was definitely into him. And he, but you were dating somebody else. Yeah, not H how not did too you resolve serious. that? It wasn't. It wasn't like we were deep in with these other people. But I mean, they ended. Obviously, they right, ended. Right, 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 right. It took a while. It took us a while. He's and it was a while slow. before we met. We were always circling around like she was in a jug band a oh. long time ago yeah, and i was playing in the can kickers but we never yeah the new met london ben. new london jug band yeah. we, we, all, we had a show booked and it didn't work out and or someone got sick like all these things would happen and we wouldn't there was a wedding we were supposed to play together i was in charge of the music and we we're both going to play um and i went to the wedding and i saw him playing on the pier and i looked at him whatever and then i just went home and was throwing up. I couldn't do the rest of the, sh you know. So we didn't. It's like we didn't. We never. It just took a long time. We're and then, ready. Yeah, and we kept booking shows, and then we started playing in a band again. We started playing in a, li a keyboard band. Yeah, the Ernest Stone people. Right? Yeah, with a third, with another, with a third woman. You know. Yeah. Was, you know, we all got together and. Third woman. A third woman. The third Who woman. was the third oh, woman? Oh, the second woman, I second mean. Second woman. Second woman, yeah, third person Sarah, in the third band. Twice removed. Yeah, our friend Sarah Fraser <laughs> was in that band. She was playing the keys. Or, no, I was playing the keys. She played the fiddle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we, put, we were, played Ernest went, Stoneman covers. There were people, you know, we weaved around each other. Till we what happened the first time you guys got to play together? Yeah, when Play was music that? together. Uh, like in, in the apartment? same band? Or? Yeah, yeah. Or at the same time oh, yeah, yeah. with each other. Mm. You don't remember that? No, I think we enjoyed it. Well, yeah. Came back, came back to play again. That's mm -hmm. a good. We have to, we have to jog the memory banks. Yeah, my, my the first time were all jumbled up. Yeah. And then you got married at the UU Church, and you're still members there. Mm -hmm. It's a great. That's a great church. Also, they do wonderful things for this community. And um, I'm just going to send a shout out because for Pete's sake is coming up and that's the weekend of February 1st and we're doing it for the um, immigrants bail bond so support for Pete's sake there's a lot of musicians in that just to, uh, you Can know I just got a folk on Saturday yeah Friday night on Saturday night got this it. year <laughs> got it because the UU church is expanding and it's going to build a new um, a new sanctuary mm -hmm. and that's going to be wonderful so guys 
I love having you here. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you brought your music here. I'm so glad we got to catch up on things that you're doing in this community because that's so important. It's important to me, this community. I love this community. I would, I live here now. I've all my life wanted to live in downtown New London and now I own my home here. I'll be here till the day I die. That's what I'm doing <laughs> because community belongs here. But what I'd like to ask you is, do you think you have a song you can take us out with? Sure. I'd love that very much. All and right. bring your kids and come back and play music on my show again. That okay. would be awesome. Make sure you unplug when you, when you go you. over there. So while Dan and Liz are getting unplugged and replugged over onto the um, music, let me remind you, it is winter. Even though it was 65 degrees the other day, it is not that warm now, and it is snow out as we speak, right? So keep your neighbors warm. Make sure that the kids that live next door to you have socks on their feet and coats on their back. Make sure that your elderly neighbors have heat, and make sure that they have water, and make sure that perhaps they have food in their fridge. There's all kinds of things in this community to help feed people that don't have any food. If you need help, please ask for it. Ask your neighbors if you need help. We'd love to help you. Until next week, everybody, I hope you have a great one. Enjoy Dan and Liz as they play us out. Until next week, everybody, bye-bye.